that cosmic cube disappeared. No one knew where it went. It so seems that MODOK, the mental organism designed only for killing, was trying to locate that cube, and being that it couldn't find it, AIM had programmed MODOK to remote detonate it from wherever it was at. But this was coincidental because it almost became really close. The skull, the skull almost used that same cube to kill Cat and Bucky, so they made it out by hair. Now, pretty much the skull was defeated, he would go into hiding once again, or so it seemed. Cat, well, not Cat, well, the Falcon, he returned back to the United States. And under his disguise as Sam Wilson, he went back home to Harlem and he helped with the civil rights movement, trying to pretty much protect his neighborhood and all the folks within. Cat also returned back to the United States and he continued on with his work for S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers. Now, upon Cap's return, the insane Steve Rogers and the insane Jack Monroe the ones who were placed in suspended animation, well, they were released out of suspended animation. And once again, the rampage and the tirade began, and they began driving everybody pretty much nuts, and they became a threat once again. This time, Cat, the Falcon, and Agent 13, they came together, and they would eventually turn around and capture the insane Steve Rogers and Jack Monroe and place them right back in suspended animation, pending the cue. Now, by this time, as the 1970s loomed into effect, Cat began to see corruption and more, more and more corruption within the American populace and also within the government infrastructure. And a lot